subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From bringing ancient microbes back to life to observing a mysterious cloud on Mars, on this edition of Scientifics, we bring you some of the most exciting science stories of the week from across the globe. Scientists in Japan have successfully brought back to life microbes that were collected from sediments dating back to over 100 million years. Ancient sediment samples from below the seafloor help better understand past climates and the deep marine ecosystem. Since then, continents have shifted, seas have risen and fallen, and finally human beings have evolved. With fine-tuned laboratory procedures, the scientists managed to revive these microbes and coax them to multiply. The results show that rather than being fossilized remains of life, the microbes in the ancient sediments had survived and were capable of springing back to life under the correct conditions. These microbes can now act as unique time capsules, allowing scientists to get a glimpse into the ancient microbial life. The research may also help shed light on how life evolved on Earth. On the other hand, archaeologists from the other side of the world bring some dire news. A very well-known archaeological site at Agarod in Scandinavia has undergone drastic deterioration since 1940s. Now here's why it's alarming for the scientists. Archaeologists need organic remains such as bones and plant matter to understand ancient human cultures and environments. But such organic matter is only preserved under very specific conditions. They become rarer to find as sites deteriorate due to environmental changes. The site at Agarod is renowned for its abundant and well-preserved quantities of bone and flint. But last year, researchers found that the bone fragments found in the area have suffered accelerated deterioration over the last seven decades. More worryingly, scientists can no longer find smaller fur game bones or bird bones. This is because small mammals and birds have smaller and lighter bones that break down faster than heavier bones. Archaeologists are saying that if steps are not taken to protect the site, then the organic remains preserved for 9,000 years will be lost forever. The record being destroyed is also a long-term database which can help us create models of the future environmental scenarios. This can be especially helpful now when the Earth is in the middle of a climate crisis. But on the brighter side, a project that could help further our quest for a source of clean, unlimited energy to tackle climate crisis is now being assembled. Scientists have started putting together the world's biggest nuclear fusion project, known as the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER. The facility located in France is funded and run by seven member entities, including India, the European Union, China, Japan, Russia, South Korea and the US are also part of the project. It aims to function similar to a star performing the same kind of fusion reactions that occur in stars, resulting in vast amounts of energy. The reactor has been designed to produce a power output of 500 megawatts with an input of 50 megawatts, resulting in a tenfold gain. All member entities are contributing parts to this project. India's biggest contribution to this will be a cryostat, which is a device used to maintain low temperatures that will enclose the entire machine. At the end of the project, India will also have access to the intellectual property rights to build its own fusion reactor. The assembly of the project is expected to be completed in the next five years. Moving on to some news from space, a mysterious long, thin cloud has made a reappearance over a 20-kilometer high volcano on Mars. Scientists are convinced that these appearances of the cloud are not linked to any volcanic activity. The cloud is made of water ice and can reach up to 1800 kilometers in length. The images of the cloud was taken on 17 and 19 July by a camera aboard the Mars Express, which is a European spacecraft which has been studying the red planet from the orbit for the past 16 years. According to the European Space Agency, this elongated cloud forms every Martian year during this season and repeats for 80 days or even more. A Martian day or a sol lasts about 24 hours, 39 minutes and 35 seconds. A year at the red planet consists of approximately 687 Earth years. 
so the seasons on Mars last for twice as long as those on Earth. Meanwhile, a team from Australia has discovered a collection of ancient stars that were likely torn apart from our own galaxy, the Milky Way, more than 2 billion years ago. This collection of stars, known as globular cluster, is different because they have much lower quantities of heavier elements than in other such clusters. Researchers suggest that these stars are the shredded remains of the last globular cluster of its kind. The Milky Way galaxy is home to about 150 globular clusters, each of which is a ball of million stars or so. These clusters have existed through the growth of the Milky Way over billions of years. The newly discovered remnants of the globular cluster can thus provide a window into the early universe. This is Mohan Abbasu for The Print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates.